is the lateral slender bone of the leg. It is homologous to the ulna of upper limb. It does not take part in the formation of knee joint. Fibula forms superior tibiofibular joint, synovial joint of plane variety, middle tibiofibular joint, fibrous joint of syndesmosis type, inferior tibiofibular joint again syndesmosis. It forms ankle joint with the talus. This is a synovial joint of hinge variety. Though fibula does not bear the weight of the body from femur, some weight is transmitted to it by the interosseous membrane from the tibia. It also stabilizes the talus bone. Upper part of fibula is usually taken for bone grafting. Fibula comprises upper end, shaft and a lower end. The upper end is expanded and bears a styloid process at its apex. It has an oval facet for articulation with the lateral condyle of tibia to form superior tibiofibular joint. The narrow part below the head is called the neck. It is related to common peroneal nerve which is the most commonly injured nerve in the lower limb. The shaft comprises three borders and three surfaces. Borders. The anterior border starts from the head runs downwards. At lower end, it splits to enclose a triangular subcutaneous area which is continuous with the lateral surface of the lateral malleolus. The medial or interosseous border is thin, lying at a distance of 1 to 2 millimeters from anterior border. It fades inferiorly. Posterior border starts from the styloid process above to the medial margin of groove on the back of lateral malleolus. Surfaces. Between anterior and medial borders is the medial surface chiefly for the origin of extensors of the digits. Lateral surface lies between anterior and posterior borders and is a well-defined surface. Posterior surface is largest lying between medial and posterior borders. It is divided in lower two-third by a medial crest into a lateral and a concave medial areas. Surfaces and borders are poorly defined. The lateral malleolus forms the lower end of the bone. It is subcutaneous and lies 0.5 cm lower than the medial malleolus of tibia. It is also placed more posteriorly than the medial malleolus. Lateral malleolus has an articular surface for the lateral surface of talus. Behind this articular surface is a shallow malleolar fossa. Identification of site. Lateral malleolus below and laterally. 
articular surface of lateral malleolus medially, triangular subcutaneous area above the lateral malleolus, anteriorly head and styloid process above. Still, if one is not able to identify, make a guess. Fifty percent chances are you will be on the correct path. <laughs>